This week's Ask Dr. Dury comes from a patient who is interested in the current status of CAR T treatment for myeloma. As many of you are probably aware, CAR T treatment has recently been approved for the treatment of relapse refractory uh, multiple myeloma, and two products uh, have, have been approved. However, the question here is, uh, what is the status of looking at this very promising treatment earlier in the disease course? Well, clearly the results in uh, relapse refractory disease have been incredibly promising. With the Siltacel product, for example, in the CARTITUDE trials, the response rate was 98% after a two-year follow-up. And so there is a reasonable excitement about possibly looking at earlier benefit from CAR-T treatment. Now, in this case, obviously, the CAR-T treatment is the use of engineered T cells. So the patient's own T cells are used, and they are engineered to target the BCMA on the surface of the myeloma. And so this is a very, very good way to attack the myeloma. So two trials have been developed to evaluate uh, these CAR-T treatments earlier in the disease. The CARTITUDE 5 trial is intended for patients where there is no plan for autologous uh, transplant. Uh, these are uh, more older patients. In this trial, patients are treated with the combination of Valcade, Revlimid, and Dexamethasone. And in half of the patients, the CAR-T treatment is added as a consolidation. In the CARTITUDE 6 trial, this is intended for patients who would normally be receiving an autologous stem cell transplant. In this case, half of the patients will indeed receive an autologous stem cell transplant, and the other half of the patients will receive the CAR-T treatment as a consolidation instead. And so this is a head-to-head -head comparison. And I think that in this case, there's really a particular interest in what will be the comparative benefit of CAR-T treatment used in this early setting. Both these trials are in patients with newly diagnosed multiple myeloma. So as part of the first treatment combination, what will be the outcome? So the bottom line is that these trials are eagerly awaited However, there is definitely a sense of caution. Uh, we need to see how will the treatment be tolerated uh, uh, when used in this way. What will be the logistics? What will be the access? Because we know that the CAR T cells have to be sent off and, are, and treatment is given at specialized centers. What about the costs? What about the patient experience? Will this be a tolerable approach uh, for the average patient. And so there are a lot of questions despite uh, the enthusiasm about the possible benefit of CAR-T treatment used in this way. So the answer for this question is yes, there are trials, the CARTITUDE 5 and the CARTITUDE 6, and there are many others uh, in, in the works. And so this will be a whole new area of development for the new immune therapies that we're all so excited about.